students today our class is about addition reactions of alkenes in the previous class uh, i explained proper uh, preparation of alkenes now today it is properties chemical properties and first very important reactions chemical properties of alkenes of alkenes since alkenes are unsaturated hydrocarbons therefore they show addition reactions now addition reactions the main chemical properties of alkenes are addition reactions second combustion third oxidation fourth polymerization but the most important chemical reactions of alkenes are addition reactions now addition reactions include addition of hydrogen addition of halogens chlorine bromine iodine addition of halogenases hcl hbr hi addition of hypohalases hox hcl hbr hoi addition of water and addition of h2so4 these are some of the important addition reactions of alkenes now first of all we will explain the first one addition reactions in the previous lessons i explained that alkanes which are saturated hydrocarbons they show substitution reactions unlike alkanes alkenes show addition reaction due to unsaturation due to the presence of double bond in alkenes now due to their unsaturated nature they show addition reaction then first of all we will do addition of hydrogen very simple addition of hydrogen let us take example i'm taking ethene you know the common name of ethene is ethylene simplest of all is ethene and we add hydrogen to it always i have already explained that whenever hydrogenation is done it is done in the presence of nickel platinum or palladium 1h goes to this carbon 1h goes to this carbon and we get a saturated hydrocarbon two carbon hydrocarbon saturated it and single bond and ethane in the same way if i take propene and i add h2 to propene in the presence of nickel or pt one it goes to this carbon one it goes to this carbon and we will get ch3 ch2 ch3 it is prop three carbon chain single bond and it is propane this is prop three carbon chain and this double bond after one carbon that is 
प्रोफानी और सिंपली इट्स प्रोपीन सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट एडिशन रिएक्शन ऑफ अल्किन एडिशन ऑफ हाइड्रोजन एडिशन ऑफ हाइड्रोजन एडिशन ऑफ हाइड्रोजन वी गेट अल्किन एंड इट इज द प्रेफरेशन ऑफ अल्किन एज वेल वी हैव ऑलरेडी डन दिस केमिकल रिएक्शन इन अल्किन नॉट द सेकेंड वन सो एडिशन रिएक्शन फर्स्ट इज एडिशन ऑफ हाइड्रोजन addition of hydrogen we get alkanes we get alkanes we can write here paraffins alkanes are also known as paraffins alkanes are formed we get alkanes in this chemical reaction okay this was the first chemical reaction of uh, first addition reaction rather of alkanes addition of hydrogen now we'll proceed to the second part that is addition of halogen addition of halogen that is the second addition reaction second addition of halogens halogens means chlorine bromine iodine even fluorine these are addition of halogens simple we take a simplest of all key that is ch2 double bond ch2 chlorine in the presence of sunlight why is sunlight because in sunlight we get free radicals and it is free radical addition mechanism free radicals are formed cl dots cl free radicals they add on, on, on this alkene we get ch2 single bond ch ch2 single bond cl one two dichloro it do carbon chain and ends single bond it is one two dichloroethane okay from e ethene we get one two dichloroethane in the same way if i take propene propene Let us take bromine instead of chlorine. In the presence of sunlight, free radical addition mechanism. One BR goes to here, one BR goes here. In fact, one CL goes, one electron goes here, one electron goes here. One BR free radical forms bond with this carbon, and another BR free radical forms bond with another carbon. And so, what we get? We get one two dibromo. propane and remember i have already explained that whenever there are two halogen atoms present on adjacent carbon atoms we uh, the common name of such compounds is vicinals or vicinal dihalides so whenever addition of halogens is done we get dihaloalkanes or vicinals dihaloalkanes or vicinal dihalides so in the second reaction dihaloalkanes or vicinal dihalides are formed in the first reaction addition of hydrogen alkanes are formed now in the second reaction when we do addition of halogens we get vicinal dihalides in fact this compound can also be named as vicinal dichloride or 1 to dichloroethane okay so we are doing addition reactions of alkanes we are doing addition now the third one and very important one third chemical reaction this is the most important of all these addition reactions that is addition of halogen acids addition of halogenases now halogenases means hx it is hcl hbr hi addition of halogenases now let us take the first alkene that is ch2 double bond ch2 and i had hcl to it heat it 
In fact, upon heating, we get electrophiles are formed. H plus is an electrophile and Cl negative is a nucleophile. There is heterotic fission in halogen acids and that electrophile attacks it and we get CH3. One H goes to this carbon and one this Cl goes to this carbon. We get chloroethane. Chloroethane is formed. This is to symmetrical double bond. Whenever halogen acids are added to symmetrical double bond. If I add this halogen acid to unsymmetrical double bond, let us take an unsymmetrical double bond. CH3 single bond CH or double bond CH2. I am taking HBr. Heat it. Now, what happens? There are two possibilities. Br can go to this, Br can go to this, because in both the cases, different compounds are formed. So, this is a rule. The rule is Marconi Cobb's rule. Mar according to Marconi Cobb's rule, negative part of addendum goes to that carbon across the multiple bond, which has lesser number of hydrogen atoms. So, in this case, Br goes to this carbon. Now, why this is go? Why this happens? We can explain it by means of mechanism. And remember, whenever there is Markovnikov's rule, it occurs through electrophilic addition mechanism. I will explain the mechanism of this chemical reaction. Now, let us explain the mechanism of this Markovnikov's rule. This is very important, very very important question. Why Mar uh, Marconi, according to Marconi Cobb's rule, why negative part goes to that carbon which contains lesser number of hydrogen atoms? Now we will explain it by means of mechanism. Now I have already explained, I have already told you that Marconi Cobb's rule is. Markovnikov's rule is electrophilic electrophilic addition mechanism is an electrophilic addition reaction. In this case, HDR in HDR upon heating there is heterotic fission. Both these electrons goes towards Br because Br is more electron negative and we get H plus and Br negative. H plus is an electrophile, Br is a nucleophile. Now the question is which of these two attacking reagents? They are attacking reagents. Will attack this alkene, this propene, this unsymmetrical alkene. Now, this is an alkene, CH unsymmetric alkene. Since pi electron cloud is there, electron density is there, therefore H plus attacks it. These two electrons, this is an electromeric effect. The, now, F, these pi electrons are shifted towards that carbon atom across the double bond. To which this H plus gets attached, to this H plus gets bonded. Now, H plus can go to this carbon, H plus can go to this carbon, it can go to this carbon as well. So, there are two possibilities. Dear students, remember, this is a very, very important concept. H plus can go to this carbon, H plus can go to this carbon. So, there are two possibilities. Let H plus go to this carbon. We will get this compound because when H plus goes to this carbon, these two electrons are shifted towards this carbon. With the result, this carbon becomes positively charged. But there is a second possibility as well. This H plus can go to this carbon, and we will this carbon now. Second possibility, and we will get this compound. This intermediate. Now, this intermediate is carbocation, carbon containing positive electron, having six electrons in the valence shell. 
the second carbocation. But remember, this is one bit, one primary carbocation, primary carbocation, and this is secondary carbocation. I have already explained that among carbocations, three degree carbocation, tertiary carbocations are the most stable, followed by secondary carbocations and primary carbocations. And out of these two carbocations, second is most stable. And in fact, this is formed. This is less stable. And this is not formed in the reaction. So, what we get? We get secondary carbocation, this one, and ultimately Br negative will attack this hydrogen with this carbon and we will get final product. We have already explained in the main example. Br goes to that carbon which contains less number of hydrogen atoms and Br goes to that carbon which contains less number of hydrogen atoms. This is the most important add, uh, reaction addition of halogen acids. When halogen acids are added to symmetrical double bond, normal compounds are formed. Cl or X or halogen goes to one carbon and H goes to another carbon. But in case of unsymmetrical alkenes, in case of unsymmetrical alkenes, negative part of this addendum is bonded to that carbon which contains lesser number of hydrogen atoms. Now the question is why? Because it occurs through electrophilic additional reaction. This is the mechanism of the reaction. In the first case, HBr forms H plus and Br negative. H plus is the attacking reagent here. Electrophile, it attacks this carbon as well as this carbon. But when it attacks this carbon, we get when it attacks this carbon, we get primary carbon cation. Then it attacks this carbon. In fact, this carbon will get primary carbon cation, and when it attacks this carbon, we get secondary carbon cation. Since secondary carbon cations are more stable, they are formed in excess major product, and ultimately it reacts with that Br negative and forms final product. This is all about today's uh, topic, Morphonic of rule and its mechanism. Thank you, students.